it's so hard to pinpoint because if you don't know her like I know her, you would not pick up on it. Mm -hmm. But it was simple things like her her personality. Mm -hmm. She was just so deceitful, you know. I could always tell <clears throat> that she was lying to me, but during those lies, she could tell me exactly what she wanted me to know. So, but I still, you know, I'm her mom and I love her and I'm going to defend her to the end. I don't care what she does. I'm going to defend her to the end. So I still would not accept the fact, even though I had people coming to me and saying, you know, I, I seen Eric and she looks like, you know, she might be on drugs or something. And I'm like, no, you know, she's just, we're going through a lot, you know, her dad's really sick and, you know, she's just, you know, probably not eating like she should and, so I was always in a constant state of denial anyways. That in my family and our family had never had drug issues. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I couldn't accept the fact that my daughter, you know, my, my prize, my blessing, my whatever, mm -hmm. you know, how could she, she was a, an AB student in school and never had to put in effort, mm -hmm. you know, so, there's no way she would do drugs. No way. One of her friends actually had called me and said, I don't know if you know that, that Erica has been arrested and she's in jail. Well, I was freaked out. Yeah. <laughs> I was up all night long. You know, I couldn't go to work. Finally, she called me like at 3 a.m. and she was in jail. And I think that's when I finally accepted the fact. I didn't think it was a big deal at all. I, I can actually recall her crying and saying, how am I going to get you out of there? And I said, She's you're like, not. Oh. Leave me here. Because yeah. yeah. I didn't think it was that big of a deal at all. Yeah. I didn't really realize what I was doing to myself or to my family yeah. or yeah. anything like that. I was, you know, just so careless. I actually confronted her and I said, I confronted her out the doorway and I said, are you, are you doing drugs again? No. I go, I think you are, and I think I'm going to have your probation officer drug test you. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not. <clears throat> well, I didn't pursue it. And anyways, we, we actually was going to, that was happening in August, and we were going to get married. Mm -hmm. So we left, went to Gatlinburg. The whole time there, you know, I was just so stressed because I knew, I knew that she was doing them, and she had this baby. Mm -hmm. But my son was here, and I, my sister. Mm -hmm. So I knew that he was going to be safe, and mm -hmm. um, so then we got—we hadn't been home long, just a couple weeks when she wanted to go to rehab. Oh God, so then, yeah, that day that she had the overdose, mm -hmm. I, I was kind of freaking out because we were going to go to a cookout at my in-laws, Kara's parents' house, mm -hmm. and we were going to take Parker with us. Mm -hmm. um, even after we passed the dollar store, we passed the Hope Police flying with their lights and sirens on. I said to her, Wow, I wonder what's going on in this town. Got the police flying like that. So we come on home, walk in here. I set my purse down. My phone rings. I look, and it's a Hope phone number. And right then I knew. Yeah. I still didn't think she'd overdosed. Yeah. I thought she done got caught stealing at dollar store. Okay. So I answered it, and it was, and I don't even know how he got my name. He yeah. just said, yeah, Jamie. Yeah, either. I go, yeah. He said, this is whoever from the Hope Police Department. Um, do you know an Erica? I go, I do. That's my daughter. He goes, where does she live? I go, right here with me. Mm -hmm. He goes, well, where's she at right now? I go, I don't know. He said, she's at the dollar store. She was overdosed in her car, and she has a baby with her. We need you to come here. Wow. I was, from that point on, it was, <sighs> you know, we flew down there. I got there even before the ambulance did. Um, and they let me come to her immediately, you know, and I was shaking her and trying to wake her up. And, you know, I was crying and I was grabbing her face and screaming, you know, please, please wake up, Erica, please. And I said, don't you guys have Narcan? And they said, no, we have to wait for the ambulance to get here. I'm like, oh, my Lord. And so they finally pulled me off of her, you know, and he said, she's breathing, ma'am. Um, she wasn't breathing. She was bare. She was gurgling. Mm -hmm. But anyways, we went. It didn't take the ambulance long. You know, kudos to them. They gave her the first dose and nothing happened. And then they gave her the second dose. And then I seen her immediately raise up. Mm -hmm. So I knew then she was okay. And then the anger set in. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, I was so furious. Mm -hmm. um, and they let me come back over there. And 
you know, I did some yelling and screaming, you know, how dare you do that with this baby in the car, I cannot even believe, you know, I hope they take you to jail because that's where you need to be, um, they made me get away from her again. <laughs> And I have no recollection so, of that. Yeah, yeah she has no like idea I, that I, I have no clue. Yeah. So they walked her to the ambulance, and she was trying to look over there at us. She don't really remember this either. Yeah, but I said, don't, don't look over here. Do not even look over here towards him. You do not need to see him. Mm -hmm. um, then they took her to the hospital, and um, I was still pretty angry when I first got there, you know, and I walked in the room, and... You know, she was crying, and she's like, I'm, I'm so sorry. And I said, don't, don't, I don't even want to hear it. Mm -hmm. Because I don't, I totally don't think that you are sorry. Mm -hmm. But, you know, as the hours progressed, things chilled down. And then I was back to my mom mode, and, oh, please take care of her. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, then, of course, CPS stepped in. And then, so there was. There's a lot to deal with. Yeah, yeah, you know, and that was one of my fears, too. I had always said to her. After she had America, please don't go down that long path again, mm -hmm. because somebody will take him away from me. Mm -hmm. No, it ain't gonna happen. Da da da. And I said, I'm telling you. So here I am, living my worst nightmare, <laughs> because here comes CPS. Um, you know, she did let us bring Parker home with us that night. She came out here and did house inspection and. <laughs> Through the RAP program, there's a lot of girls in there who do not have family members that are supportive. All their family members are addicts, and it really opened my eyes to see how truly blessed I am to have the family that I do have that are not on drugs, mm -hmm. who are very productive and very willing to support me through anything. Even if she has a moment where so she feels like she needs to use, I want her to come tell me that <laughs> because I want... You know, I don't want to travel this path no more, and if she's not learned anything over this past year, I will do anything for her. Mm -hmm. 